Alright. Hello? Hello? Hi. Oh, there's a lot of bantering and laughing coming <laughs> through the phone. That's ah. the kind of interview we want. A fun bantery one. <laughs> with laughter. So we are talking to the guys from Mook right now. And I'm James, by the way. I'm Brent. Hi, what guys. Are you guys doing? Who are you? I'm James. I'm Brent. James. James okay. and Brent. Good. Brent and James. <laughs> yes. So, from Go Caper on. Radio. So how are you guys doing today? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I'm doing great. I, you know, we're good. We're crowded around a speakerphone at a mobile gas station. We're in the back of a gas station. Cool. That's fantastic. <laughs> so we we may as well get the interview started with a simple question. Uh, where did the name Mook come from? Let's take that. that Rob, Mook. Rob, that's you. Rob. I want to take that. Rob has got it. Um, well, it comes from a slang word, I guess. Um, a contemptible person, which we. Yes, all are. <laughs> yeah, we suck. <laughs> it, it, it We're awful people. It You're means, awful people? So you decide to name the band Mook? Person, and I think we uh, we feel pretty insignificant most of the time, so it's fitting. We have a collective inferiority complex. <laughs> Whatever what? that means. Does what? it have anything to do with Timon from The Lion King? No, but it maybe. should. <laughs> oh, maybe. Everything. <laughs> now it does. <laughs> cool. It does? See, I told you. All right, we were we were having a debate about that yesterday about if it had anything to do with the Lion King. I, I said drama yes. Was in the Lion King. That's right. You you were in the Lion King? Uh, yeah. How so? Well? What? How so? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? <laughs> How are you in the Lion King? <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, he's got a good point. Okay. <laughs> he won me over that. You time. can definitely tell they're in the back of a gas station. It's true. They sound like they're sitting where they're sound. They sound like they're sitting where they can smell a gas station. And there's no windows. No, there's no. Oh, windows. we can oh, smell it. Window. We're surrounded by bottles of diet soda. And That's diet even worse. Apple. That's terrible. <laughs> you guys are in a horrible <laughs> situation right now. So, uh, moving right along. Um, uh, Paul, you were in a movie, a little movie known in, as Little Miss Sunshine. Um, do you think that the success of that movie has attracted more people to listen to the band? Um, yeah, I think so, except I don't know how anybody put the two together, because, uh, you know, I, I didn't, uh, really want anyone to know that, but I guess it's sort of inevitable, but, you know, um... Uh, we certainly don't try and use that to our advantage, so to speak. Or, you know, I don't really like talking about the two together just because, uh, you know, I think it's it, it's kind of unfair to the music and, and to these guys because I don't want it to seem like, uh, you know, it, it's it's my band or, you know, I get I get nervous about those kind of things because uh, it's, it's a pretty collaborative effort and, uh, you know, I don't want that to be like the focus of, of the music. Mm-hmm. All the laughter in the background stopped. Yeah. <laughs> Brent, what did you do? <laughs> Suddenly went. So oh, it's, uh, yeah, they, they, uh, yeah, no, it's a, it's a, it's a sensitive, it's a sensitive subject for some reason for me. So I think they were all nervous about how I'd answer the question. Let's just break out some diet soda and just start beating them to death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what, what bands influence a band like Mook? Oh, jeez. Or possibly just Mook. Maybe not even a band like Mook. The essence of Mook. Essence of? Well, we all listen to, you know, the, the one thing that kind of helps define our, our sound a bit is that we all listen separately to a lot of different stuff. It's not like we each have the same favorite bands or, or favorite musicians or artists. So I think uh, it's lucky that, you know, it's able to fit together. Um, I, you know, everybody, I don't know, Dan, what, what are your influences? Well, well. My influences uh, are everywhere from Ludwig, Be Beethoven to Biggie. Small. Ooh. Beethoven to Biggie? <laughs> I like how you added the smalls. Yes, yeah, smalls. In case we didn't one. know. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Biggie, like upsized drinks at Wendy's. I, I, I thought it might have been Biggie Stevens, the guy who lives down the street. Oh, shit. Yeah, Biggie Stevens cool. is a great banjo player. He is a good banjo player. He's also a nice landlord. Ooh. <laughs> but not an influential person. <laughs> not really. <laughs> but, so, uh, yeah, I mean, we are very diversely influenced, and it definitely comes out in the music. Uh, well, I think it does. 
but it might not, too. <laughs> but it might not? <laughs> you, you never know. That in just in case? Anything can happen, and if someone looks it up? everything is set in stone. Oh, However, no. if you listen to track by track or show by show or whatever you want to do, we've often been... Uh, Actually, our influences have been correctly identified at certain shows, which is kind of, which is kind of a cool thing when that happens. It's like a game. Yeah. Or, like for, oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, like uh, certain songs have. Well, any of those songs on that CD? Have you listened to the CD? Yep. What? Any of those songs remind you of any specific people? I don't know. I'd say and, it's all clearly Mook. <laughs> Well, that's cool. I, I'm Going sorry, I it. couldn't hold a straight face when I said that. <laughs> it's Move. just such an awkward band name. <laughs> He's laughing. We're, uh, yeah. He's laughing at us, man. I don't <laughs> man, like this guy. Dude, he a broke his source of laughter. Okay, um, now, now to move the subject along to the source of laughter, what it really is, um, your bassist, Rob? And uh, hello. Yeah, yes, Rob. Um, on the inside of the CD in the jacket, you it says your nickname is Mr. Hands. Uh, yeah. Ah, where did that come about? Um, I don't know. Maybe we should ask the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me you have ladies there just to answer this question. Uh, In the back uh, of the gas station. Yeah. Any lady. Any lady? Okay, so Okay, we'll, Jill, oh, come uh, here. Yo, I'm proud to expose where that nickname is. Can, okay, we ask, we, can we ask the ladies that we have here? No, Go ahead. wait, we should tell. This, the nickname, yeah, this, the nickname came it. from a, an, an internet porn video that involved a, a man and a horse. Um... <laughs> And uh, if, if <laughs> two men, three men, yeah. if I you uh, it's like, well, it's got to be at least three. That, that's two true. Men, that is really where it came from. There's probably two or three men along with that horse. Uh, okay. It's it's, uh, it's kind of graphic. <laughs> kind of. You might not want to show this one to the uh, to the kids. The below below Eight. ten years old. Well, we'll turn off the cameras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, more is, mature. Is that okay to say on the on the radio? Mature. <laughs> yeah, the word mature. And the yes. word mature is fine. You can say mature. Okay. It's not actually that mature a word. Okay. Yeah. I just want to be clear that we weren't kidding about where Mr. Hands came from. <laughs> okay. He really did. Yeah. As long as you guys are honest with us, that's all we care about. Yes. Yeah. 